someone tonight who's the next, uh, really, we're here because the vision of bipartisanship is what we have carried to all of the states we are in. We are in 12 states now. We just have our bipartisan happy hour in D.C. We created that because we bring Democrats, the Republican, Congress people together to just have a beer without all of the complexity of policy conversation, dialogue. We have been doing that so we can reach deep into the humanity and they can see that we are not far apart. And we look around Oregon and we said, who can best represent that? Who have been intentional in bringing folks together across the board? Aside from the league, there are humans, there are leaders who have done that. Tonight, we have Tom Haffert, and we feel that according to our board uh, and according to his accomplishment, his relationship, he has exemplified uh, that spirit of bipartisanship. So, uh, Tom, on behalf of the board, please accept our bipartisan award. Give, thank you. Well, it is a great honor for me to share a little bit of time with all of you tonight. I'm obviously very humbled to be sitting at a table with such incredible leaders. Uh, people who, like me, love this state. And uh, in my role at the Salem Chamber, we have a saying. At the Salem Chamber, we believe in helping businesses prosper so our entire community may thrive. Chambers of Commerce are your small business engine. We're not filled with your Amazons and Applebee's and Best Buy's of the world. We're filled with the individuals who are taking risks each day as entrepreneurs to create paychecks for Oregonians. And for them, bold leadership is sometimes knowing less is coming home with me so the people that need it in my staff teams, need it in our places of business, may have dignity, mm -hmm and know that they are very valued. I'm a product of two public school teachers. Uh, my beautiful mother, Nancy, is here, my father, Pete. Um, but I also had a, two grandfathers that were entrepreneurs. I got, remember being 14 and, oh yeah. I remember at a young age stocking my grandfather's sporting goods store with, with uh, socks and he'd be up above and he knew if I missed one. And he'd go, you missed one in row three there. And it's very interesting to grow up in a culture that believes in the small business mechanism. And I would encourage all of you, I applaud you willing to run for office and those who appeared in front of us tonight, to remember that the small business engine is your neighbor. There are people who care very deeply for the, the state they're in because believe it or not, this is one of the more challenging states to do business in. And so if you choose Oregon, like all of us have, it creates an incredible ability to not look at party lines, but rather align for what we love and care about, and that is our neighbor and having healthy communities. We are facing a number of very challenging situations across Oregon, and so I would challenge you as future political leaders to please understand your constituency and not worry about the party, but rather the person and the message that they are sharing so we can build a stronger Oregon in the future. I wanna thank all of you for this opportunity uh, to be recognized tonight. Uh, Dr. Bud Pierce is an incredible individual who's done wonderful things. Um, one of the board members, Jonathan Castro Monroy, is doing big things in communities. And organizations like the Salem Chamber want to see people do great things. Let's lift up our neighbors, partner with more people, and worry a little bit less about the R and the D, and a lot more for what's right for this state. Thank you all for your time this evening. <laughs> <laughs> 